our struggle, tend to my nobody. For this our struggle, tend to my nobody. These are members of the Parliamentary Staff Association of Nigeria. They are protesting against the failure of government to implement financial autonomy for state legislatures. Going by their threat, activities in the 36 state assemblies would be shut down on Monday, 15th March 2020. Speaking at a protest which kicked off at the entrance gate of the National Assembly, President of Parson Comrade Usman Mohammed accused the government of insensitivity on the issue irrespective of previous ultimatum issued by the union. He however called on the leadership of the National Assembly to prevail on relevant bodies and governors to implement the law on legislature autonomy as contained in Order 10 of 2020. The, the, the legislative uh, autonomy gave us our independence, strengthened democracy and again strengthened the legislature. So for anybody who is standing against the independence of the legislature denying us the financial autonomy, we will use everything on arsenals to fight them. The welfare of our staff from the National Assembly to the State House of Assembly must be improved. No. If you want things to happen as far as this country is concerned, State Assembly must, and I repeat, must have financial autonomy. Please make State Assembly more effective, more effective, for the dividends of democracy to be delivered to our people at the grassroots level. Yes. We will not and we will not accept anything less than financial autonomy to the State Assembly. Yes. To allow the State legislator to be more functional and more functional and more independent. The next destination of the protesters was the office of the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami. The issue which you have already stated, that's the uh, autonomy of the, of the, yes, you will understand that this is uh, an uh, idea which is the very paramount in the mind of the, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That is why he signed the, the executive order. Brandishing several placards, the union vowed not to relent on the struggle, which has lasted for over two years until their demands are met. CNN News.